hey, I'm pleased to be on campus at Tennessee State University with the head coach, Eddie George, and Coach George, former <laughs> NFL player, a guy that I, 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 I watch following my days in the NFL. Hey, you've got to be a lot, of, a lot of pride now with what you've been able to accomplish here in a very short period of time and with your team playing so well. What's it like for you to be a coach of a, a great gu bunch of guys? You know what, I, 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 one word, I'm blessed. Um, really honored. Uh, never thought I would get into coaching uh, because of the hard work that goes into it, the long hours, the, the stress, the gray hairs, but the, the gratitude that I get in watching these young men grow and develop and, and see the light bulb go off supersedes all of that. Um, it's, it's truly uh, ministry and God's work. That's kind of how I look at it. Um, I had to really grow, uh, continue to grow into this role, but I really have enjoyed, you know, coaching these young men about life, you know, as it translates onto the football field. So it's been amazing. You know, football, I think, is a teaching moment, a teaching opportunity for young people. Talk about some of the concepts and things you want to pass along to this group and others. Well, number one, um, to have courage, to, to dream big. Uh, you, first of all, you come to college to get a great education and to think about life after football um, and to give them a guiding light for uh, after the game. Uh, football is just a, a platform to your purpose, and your purpose is always being defined until the day that you're put in the ground. And I want them to understand that. You know, I have these young men every summer uh, before they come into camp, they have to write a legacy plan. You know, everything that they think they want to do, accomplish, dream big, and from your job to the number of uh, kids you want to have, your family, and so forth. And we get up and we talk about those things. And um, it's been amazing to see how, you know, they've developed. And, I, and then I, you know, say, hey, here are the habits that are associated with getting those goals. You know, so we're talking about, you know, not winning championships, but creating championship habits. I love it. Life goals, life opportunities, and it all comes from football. Told us talk about the football side of this thing. Mm -hmm. This offense is rolling. You got a good quarterback out there. How do you feel things are progressing with your offense so far this season? Um, they, they've gotten better. We had some growing pains, uh, new offensive system, uh, some new players really trying to find their roles. And we've had to get better each and every week. Um, we've had some success. The key is now, can we string together back-to-back uh, -to -back performances? Can we, can, can we grow in that, in that, in that regard? You know, um, we've got to be consistent. So we've had a good defense. We have sp solid special teams. Now we have to have an offense that can put up points. And we're starting to show that a little bit, but we still got a, lot, a long way to go. You know, a lot of people see, they look at the schedule and they say, they look at the Tigers and where you're at and what, what you got ahead of you, and they see that last game of the season. Yeah. Can't get there yet, but, you know, you might have a chance against one of the better teams in the country. Yeah, no, well, before that, we got Howard this week, uh, but coming out of the bye week is, is uh, UT Martin. You know, they were the, the two-time defending champions in this conference. You know, Simo's at the end. We've got Gardner-Webb on the road to Western Illinois. So we've got a few wars before we got to get to that point. We have to earn that right to play for that, for that game to really mean something. I told them, you know, our goal is a couple things, is to be nine units strong by the month of November. That's every single unit uh, holding each other accountable, practicing at a high level. Um, if we are uh, nine units strong in the month of November, then we'll have something to say about that and have an opportunity. We're starting to see that. So I want to share with you that I'm very pleased to be a part of the FCS National Awards and really the legacy of these awards. The names such as Peyton, Buchanan, yes, Rice, Robinson. Yeah. What does that mean to you, being at an HBCU with all those legendary HBCU names? You can throw Claude Humphrey and, and Richard Denton in that, in that mix too. I mean, it means a lot. You know, this, this level of football, FCS football, HBCU football, uh, is rich in football tradition. You know, several NFL Hall of Famers have come from this level. Um, humble beginnings is hard work. You learn how to grind. You learn how to uh, make do hard better, um, if you will. The lack of resources and uh, you just overcome. You're faced with adversity at every turn. You just learn how to rise above it and and really shine because it really forces you to to operate at a high level. Although you don't have the best of everything, you have each other. You lean on each other. You're able to get better through that. You know, I always try to give back, so to speak, to the FCS programs. I came from an FCS program myself, and you having the opportunity to coach these young men. What's it like being able to be instrumental, not only in, in, their, in their football world, but in, in their daily lives? You know, um, I've been doing a lot of studying of coaches 
uh, since I took this job. I mean, I, I played the game um, for so many years, from high school, college, professional now. Um, just listening to you know John Cooper or Jim Trestle, or Urban Meyer, jo Joe Paterno, uh, even Bo Schembechler, you know, um, to some of the great coaches of our of our time, it's a, you don't know the impact you're going to have on these kids, you know, in four years. It's about the 40 years. It's who they become as men. That's that's where you really find out the type of team that you have and the type of individuals individuals that you have. And um, I'm going to know more about this team in 40 years than I am in about four months. So, but but for the most part, I, I enjoy it. Um, it's been uh, eye-opening and gratifying for me to because they've added more to me than I think I did to them in terms of value because it forces me to uh, be present, uh, to be honest, to be open, to be truthful, um, and. Um, it's been amazing. Well, fantastic. I applaud what you've done here, and congratulations on the great start, and best of luck along the way. Thank you. Appreciate it. You bet. It.